Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I've missed you so much. There's been a ton of things that I've been getting up to over the last couple of weeks. Um, it's been shows and interviews and radio interviews and family time um, and me time and planning and all those things. Um, so that's why I haven't been able to update um, sooner. However, today I'm gonna try and put everything into this video, but make sure you hit that subscribe button. And yeah, the vlog starts now. Mwah. Right. Gags all here. <laughs> Glastonbury, here we come. Yeah. So us and our band, we ended up just hiring day rooms at the Travel Lodge. There wasn't many glamorous like hotels around, guys. There's literally homes or you camp. <laughs> We've just been told that on the Glastonbury app, there are people who basically, I guess, sign up and they kind of say like which shows they want to go to. And so far, good news. We've been told there's like 12,000 people signing up saying they want to come to us. And where we're performing, it's only holding 5,000. So. Let's see how that's going to go, but better a full tent than empty. <laughs> Guys, I really wanted to show you the process of us getting ready, but I had no time because they took so long to check us in. However, I found um, some footage on my phone of the things that I did. This is a Mugler outfit. Um, I paired it with a jacket because I wanted to feel more comfortable. Um, we ended up going with a diesel PVC crop jacket, which was pretty cool in the I end. love it. Yeah. It's gorgeous. <laughs> We are dressed, we are ready, we're in the car, ready to go. And I'm feeling, well, I've been nervous the entire time. Hello. Um, but. Yeah, no, no, it's just. Oh, is it? Look, guys, look how many tents there are. We are shook. Oh, God, my turn. No. My stomach's turned. Look all the way up there as well. <gasps> wow. Oh, no. I feel literally my stomach is turning. What is that up there? That's tents up there. So there'll be a few people there tonight then. Oh my god. Are we definitely got like a crowd coming to us? Look at all this. Well I don't know, you never know. Like. The number of people that have registered and they're interested to see you guys. Oh yeah. By the way, that was like one of our biggest concerns, especially for me and Mutia. We were like, oh my gosh, like we're not on the main stage. It's been a while. Are people actually going to come? We've got like 10 minutes left. Literally just saying, why do we do Why do they do this to themselves? It's like getting the nerd to jump out of the place. Have a good one, ladies. Thank you. What? Where are the rest of the boys? Oh, they're all out here. No, lads. Lads. Have a good show. How are you guys feeling? You guys look nice. What? How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm all right. So I managed to get a little glimpse of the crowd before we went out. And oh my gosh, it was so rammed that they had to get extra security. We heard that they were shutting the field off. It was insane, incredible. And obviously it made us excited, but we were so nervous. Did you hear the roar of the audience? Like, honestly, guys, it was so loud and so much more bigger than what we ever thought, ever could imagine. We would have been so grateful just to, like, have our fans come out and see us. So, like, to see, like, the crowd surpass the tent was just, it was incredible. And the love was real, so thank you so much. We have just come off stage. The crowd was buzzing. Apparently, they had to shut the bill down or something um, so that what well, actually hi she just killed it the vocals were on point like i couldn't hear a thing I couldn't hear a damn thing we are in dublin so 
after all that Glastonbury craziness, we jumped on a plane. Um, as you saw, Dublin. <laughs> we landed in Dublin. We were there to um, do a show with Westlife, which was amazing. Thanks, guys. We checked into the Hilton, which was really nice, actually. And as soon as we like hit the lobby, we saw this refreshment stand and we just loved things like that. So me and the girls, you know, we ran over, had to taste a bit. <laughs> and then we checked in and headed to our rooms. Okay, so over here we have my outfit for tomorrow and the day after. So we've got these Givenchy leggings with the top to match. As you can see, it's really sheer. So I have to wear these like pants or hot pants, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then I've got this top here, which is like a long sleeve sheer sort of situation. You can kind of get the theme here. Um, the reason why I like these pants is because it has these like holes. Can you see? So your skin is like being shown in the front, um, which is super cute. Um, over here are my packet braids. <laughs> so I've got these packet braids here because my hair is getting so messy, guys. My braids are looking a bit dusty now. Even like here where you can see like the, um, like you can see my hair is starting to, my natural hair is starting to like come out at the ends and stuff. So that's when you know it's a no-go. Guys, I landed and I just saw a growing friend at the side of my face, so please ignore that. But yeah, I'm about to go down to the gym. I'm just gonna do a quick cardio workout. I'm not gonna do any weights or anything like that. That's my vibe. So after trying on my outfit, guys, I realized that it was because it's sheer, it was like moving everywhere. So it was the material kept pulling. So these two lovely ladies, they came to sew it together, almost like a cat suit. Um, and then we ended up going to the venue because we needed to sound check and we were gonna, we brought all of our stuff there as well so we could get ready. So it's stage time and I'm coming through with Mark Morrison vibes, return of the Mac, and I'm going to swing my coat at every chance I get. <laughs> So we've just come off stage and it's so weird like playing stadiums because we had a great time um, and we had lots of fun. It's so weird like playing stadiums that big because we love engaging with our fans and like seeing their faces and everything else and they were so far away so we couldn't really see like many people and, and stuff like that but you know we had a good time, super grateful. Let's go, back here tomorrow. I'm just gonna mute this here guys because I don't really know all the like regulations or the restrictions around like playing other people's music so I'm just gonna pause that there but notice that I said I'm gonna go and I was holding my clothing bag quite clearly I did not go <laughs> I was talked into like staying um by the band and stuff and it was just like Do you know what we may as well make a bit of a night of it so we jumped in the van and we just had a party bus, guys. The next day I was up early, 
grabbed a coffee with Siobhan and we went to go and see Dublin. I've never, I used to be so dry, I used to stay in my room all the time. Facts. Guys, I used to visit the most amazing places with the girls and would always be in my room. Good morning, it's our day two of West Life. I'm doing a gold situation today. And a gold palette. Day two was amazing actually. We had a really good time. We got to catch up with the boys. We haven't seen them in years. So that was also really lovely. Another day, another festival. This time we were brought by the sea and it was so, so lovely. Um, I don't know what it is, but I feel like the more I'm doing shows now, the more I can really appreciate like these things. And when you're young, you don't really notice or appreciate the, you know, the little things. So we have just arrived. We're getting ready in a local Airbnb. You can see the beach ahead there. So we can make it through the night. We can make it through the night. Oh, I was actually waiting for the, the part. Paul, is this your part? Oh, I beg your pardon. Was that my part? Is that your part? Do you want to take it on home? I don't sing. No? No. We've had the most amazing summer, guys. Honestly, people showed us so much love. And as soon as we had some time off, I grabbed tickets to go and see the Millennium Tour with Amarion and friends. And of course, I attended church, baby showers, saw my family, went to events, and it was carnival season. <laughs> guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys have subscribed remember we get better not bitter see you in my next vlog bye